Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, February 20th, and I'm going to do a quick reading on a daily message. Um, these messages are timeless though, so whenever you find it, doesn't matter when it finds you, uh, there might be something in it for you, especially if you're drawn to the title of the video. I'll be making daily videos up until this Wednesday, so if you're new to the channel, there's uh, probably a bunch of videos for you to go check out um, in a repository that is YouTube. Um, otherwise, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and probably come back and make some more videos um, sometime in the near future. I want to thank you guys for supporting um, the channel with l the likes, the comments, uh, the new subscribers to the channel. This has been one really big fun experiment for me. I've learned a lot. Um, and I feel like it's made me a better storyteller as a result of reading Tarot, the story in the cards. And how fun. It's so fun. So yeah, today we have Answering the Call. The time is now. The time is now. Unknown territory, you are exactly where you need to be. Infinite abundance, again, again. I feel like this card that keeps showing up, this infinite abundance, is here to remind us that at all times there's something to be grateful for. The, the past few days there's been definitely messages of like, you know, hey, you might be scared or confronting something, but there is always a silver lining. There's always something to be grateful for. So I feel like this message is heeding the call of those previous readings. If you want to go check those out, I think they're called a uh, trailblazer or trailblazing and uh, uh, or breakthrough or um, you know, basically the last three days. Any of those, there's like a bunch of stuff in there that feels similar. And now the time is now. It's almost like we waited patiently until there was some sort of moment for action. There, um, are, there are a few animals in these cards here. So I'm just going to show you really quick. And this one, whoa, it is sunny today. There's a steed just beyond the gate. What does the steed represent? What, you know, um, maybe what does it represent to you? Right? The, the deer could be relevant. I'm gonna have to go look up animal meanings now. And, and then in this one, unknown territory, you are exactly where you need to be. It's again this feeling of you're not sure where you are, but yet there's this comforting feeling of being exactly where you need to be in the present moment. You were at the right place at the right time to hear that phone ring. You know where you are needed. You go to where you are needed and it is a sense. It's not an SOS. It's quiet. There's an owl and a, a bird, although finch? Um, I don't know that much technically about birds, but I know some of my friends do. Is that a finch or a sparrow? Or what is it? You guys can tell me, okay? I'll let you tell me. Answering the call, unknown territory, infinite abundance. It's like, I don't know where I'm going, but this feels right. This feels like exactly where I need to be. Okay. You know, I'll say this as well. When we remove expectations of where we're supposed to be and like what our dreams or life is supposed to look like, that's when the universe comes in and says, I know what you want. I know, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. Um, you're making it too complicated for yourself by imagining every little detail. You've got to get into the feeling of abundance, as in know what feels good to you, if you can imagine it, if you can believe it for yourself. And then you answer the call, even though it doesn't, even maybe that's not your phone number that's ringing. It's not your phone that's ringing. It's like a pay phone over there. But you were just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're, if you're too busy trying to follow your plan of where you're supposed to go, you're going to miss out the opportunity 
for for maybe like a shortcut or something to where you're or maybe even something better to where where, where you actually want to be so I would just say as a result of that message right there I would be on the lookout for opportunities hidden in plain sight all right let's see what the tarot has four of wands in reverse Four of Wands is the commitment card. We're removing ourselves from commitment or something, some structure, established structure. I mean, it can also be like disharmony. I mean, it could be also that like some sort of recent conflict has led to, um, or some disharmonious situation has led to maybe like that path being closed. And so you have to go go to another path or something. So again, it's a silver lining sort of feeling about um, this happened for a reason to set you on this path. And it's happening now. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Yep, coming out of conflict. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Six of Cups. The High Priestess in reverse. Four of Swords. The Fool. Eight of Cups and the Hermit in reverse. Okay, so there is a bit of a revelation here. The High Priestess in reverse is the center position. She's the card of, of wisdom, higher wisdom, pursuit of knowledge, secrets. In the reverse, that's sort of like something is coming out. So finally, whatever the message was, what was yesterday's message? I forgot. But I remember the song. The song was, let it all out, let it all out. Um, your world changes when you express yourself and your truth. When your truth co comes outside of you, it now lives outside of you, and your entire world will change into the world you literally just created by speaking your truth. Do you know what I'm saying? There's power in words. I mean, words are just words, right? They're not, in, even in conflict, words do not intend to harm. I keep saying this. It was like a very important message of the last few days. Go back and watch those. Because it's a story. This is like every day, it's sort of building on itself. Anyway, what's evident here, the answering the call, somebody has answered the call as in, come out of this conflict something was let go of and the journey inward which is showing up again here so probably we're going even deeper in the six of cups this is nostalgia um, today does feel like it carries a bit of a nostalgic energy this is about looking at the past this is also about nurturing your inner child and uh, maybe things from your past that you once enjoyed that have escaped your life are now returning to you with like a new uh, meaning or like a layer of significance that had been either either repressed or just ignored or just like not really cla claiming that as like something you would like to carry into adulthood or something you can pursue professionally or whatever. So that is answering the call to say like, if I keep getting drawn back to this thing, there has to be something important about it that I don't know yet. That revelation is coming or it's here now. The fool, the soul, soul of the tarot is just indicating that this journey has begun. Whether you know it or not, it's begun. And it is requiring like this, whatever structure you had built around your life up until this point. Yeah, maybe like you're, there's a renovation, like a wall is coming down so you can expand. This has to happen for expansion to occur. And it's weird because it's expansive energy, so you're moving into one direction, but at the same time, you're also like, you're almost, it's almost like you're making more room for yourself, for your home, your past. Something about your past, yeah. It's almost like you had like a, I only need this much room, I have this much space, I'm gonna contain myself within this space. And now something from the past is being reclaimed and instead of trying to shove it into that same space, you're being asked to grow, to make more room for yourself. That is the answering the call there for yourself. Unknown territory, we have seven of pentacles 
investment, right? The high priestess, that which is known, now you know, eight of cups and going deeper, further within, right? The eight of cups is always to me a very personal journey. This isn't, and this came out in another, again, a previous reading where I was like, this could be taken as a situationship, the context of you in the outside, something. But at the same time, there's, I feel like there's a lot of energy pointing to that this is a very much internal thing. Um, this is the 10 year winter or <laughs> it feels like it's just taking much longer and it's gone a lot deeper than, than other years have gone. A lot is changing in a very short amount of time. Oh boy. And look, we have the infinite abundance, the progression from the three of swords to the four of swords to the hermit in reverse. Remember what I said about the hermit, how he guides just his own path. It's just enough for him to see barely what's in front of him. And so primarily, yeah, I think that the, the hermit's senses are heightened. Um, he's d deeply connected to the earth around him, but not because he can revel in its beauty and see everything and use that sense, but it's a more of an intuitive sense. And it's almost like the touch, the touch sense is really important here. Something about physicality is sort of uh, being highlighted for me right now, but take that um, however, however you think it, it matters. I just want to point out on this card also the art of it. The, um, there's like a moth, a heart, and a cat down below the soil. You know, the moth, right? Is, I think that's a sign of transformation. The heart, I mean, I think that's our core essence. <laughs> the cat, I don't know, cats are awesome. <clears throat> There's something profound about this card, this particular hermit. It's like life's mysteries are being, um, the depths of life's mysteries are explored um, deepest, not by traveling far, but traveling deep within. And so what this is really telling me, and especially in reverse, it's time for this stuff that you've discovered in the near future. It's, it's time for this stuff to come out and, and to put that stuff to work, this new information, this, these discoveries, this truth, put it to work into shaping your new reality. This has to do with being brave through some sort of heartbreak or, you know, some sort of emotional, emotionally disturbing, I guess is the word that's coming to mind, sort of situation or feeling. Um, something in the past has hurt you and the way to get rest from that, Four of Swords is all about rest meditation. It's about getting quiet. And because this is all appearing in the future position, it's telling me that this is a rinse and repeat. This is not like you do it once and you're beyond some great threshold and never to return again. Although yesterday's message said something about like a paradigm shift. Yesterday's was a huge shift. Now it's a, I know now what to do when I'm faced with this nostalgia, when I'm faced with um, this pain that, uh, that shows up because it will continue to show up. But when you get quiet and you meditate on it, you glean, you are, when, you are, when you put yourself in a situation where you're able to glean your own inner wisdom about those things, that's when you tap into the infinite abundance. Okay. Yeah, we have a three, four, and the five of swords on the table. Um, and so they're appearing in different positions here as well that, that give me more sort of timey-wimey ideas of the past is in the future, the future is in the past, and, you know, we're in the present investing in, investing our time into something which 
remains unknown and yet is known at the same time. Like the waters are very, very deep here. There might be some confusion, even though there isn't much of a conf like the seven of cups isn't here, which is like the confusion card at the same time. <clears throat> I do feel like there's this like brilliant beginning and there's like a lot of inner work being done. Uh, but the unknown bits are still there and we're just called to want to invest in those unknown things. Because I think it's helping us get over some sort of past, um, past hurt. I mean, there's growth here and a new beginning. And I think that the future will feel a whole lot better once we learn to express ourselves better. Okay, that's what I have for today. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check out the uh, song recommended listing in the description box below if you want to get into the vibe of the reading even more. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and the subscriptions and the comments. I love you guys so much. Take care.